Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, I would request you please subscribe to the channel. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers. Also, I upload videos on regular basis on different DevOps topics. Okay. Also, I have a series, complete series on learning DevOps, like 30 days of DevOps, where anyone can start learning DevOps from scratch. Okay. You can follow that video. Okay. Also, like uh, I'm mostly active on Instagram as well as uh, Telegram. So if you have any queries, doubt, or if you need any kind of guidance related to uh, DevOps, so you can just connect me through uh, through Instagram or Telegram. Okay. Links will be in the description. Okay. Now coming to today's topic, so today uh, recently one of my uh, connection on LinkedIn suggested to make a video on comparison between AWS Azure and GCP and suggest as per my opinion which one we should go for for a learning okay. So in today's video that's what we are going to do. I am going to compare these three cloud servers, cloud platform, what kind of services they provide and in which uh, like services they perform better, which one we should go for as well as I will be explaining my own experience like which cloud servers I primarily use and what are the services that I usually go for okay. So these things basically uh, my answer uh, on, on like what services I use will be really interesting for you so stay tuned till the end of the video because at the end I will be explaining my opinion like which cloud platform you should go for uh, uh, learning even if you are experienced or a fresher so which one you should go for I will explain in detail okay so stay tuned yeah. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay team, so let's start with AWS, okay, which is from uh, which is from Amazon and AWS plat cloud platform is one of the oldest platform that was introduced. Okay, also like in my opinion, like I recently started using it a little bit more because recently I was studying uh, Terraform. So I had to like start create uh, like create a proper infrastructure from scratch. So networking was involved in a, on a like very higher, higher level. So I used uh, AWS. Okay. Now let me explain you about AWS. Uh, what are its good features and bad features? Not exactly bad, but cons I could say. Okay. So basically, first of all, AWS is the cloud server or cloud platform which covers the maximum market. At this point of time, uh, AWS is the one cloud platform that covers maximum market as well as like it is uh, mostly better in, in my opinion at least it is better if you have like so many uh, network created uh, things that you need to do then uh, AWS is the best choice okay because recent, as I said recently I started working with Terraform and I was using I was creating uh, a proper infrastructure secure infrastructure so I used a, a AWS and it was a very good platform for that okay because you can create complete robust networking system and everything you can create with help of AWS okay in addition to that from devops point of view basically aws has certain uh, certain features like code pipeline code deployed those things but in my opinion i have used those uh, in as compared to other cloud platforms to me at least they seemed a little bit complex okay most of the services on aws they are little bit complex if you if you have not used them like uh, with proper experience then they will seem very complex okay to me they seem quite complex so the devops part that i usually do i do not do with uh, aws okay mostly most of the services that i work with on aws is like eks uh, uh, then ecr then aws vms and little bit of like uh, a vpc subnet and those things okay little bit not too much Okay, but also you should know that uh, from AWS actually inside AWS maximum uh, services cloud services are available as compared to any other uh, cloud platform the AWS cloud platform has the maximum number of services different kind of services because Azure GCP or any other cloud service they have lesser number of services as compared to AWS okay so in my opinion if you are a fresher uh, you can like uh, I wouldn't suggest that you should start uh, doing uh, AWS but see two points I will say to you if you are specifically focusing on DevOps part I wouldn't suggest AWS okay I definitely wouldn't suggest but usually like see when I work with DevOps I do everything on a separate VM so VM I do take from AWS to me it seems like better easy to like create that seems better but when you want to use AWS services for DevOps like code deploy code pipeline those things I wouldn't recommend that because they are little bit complex and uh, I don't think they can be integrated with uh, uh, different kind of tools and uh, technology as we are able to do in other uh, like uh, cloud platforms. Okay. So again, AWS, uh, if you have proper network requirement, network system, uh, network configuration, all those things is your requirement. Definitely you should go with uh, AWS, uh, clear that, clear, clear as that. Okay. 
but if your primary requirement is that you want to like build and deploy application perform monitoring and all all the devops related tasks i wouldn't suggest uh, like uh, aws okay okay so these are like my opinion on aws okay now coming to azure so azure actually is one of my primary skill also not primary skill i would say like primary platform on cloud that i use okay now let me explain you like what are the features of uh, azure cloud and like how it it is better or worse than aws okay so basically like a azure cloud it is from microsoft first of all okay and at this point most of the big companies who, who like who are going with uh, different uh, microsoft services like they are using uh, .NET based application. They want to use Windows VMs. They like 100% they are using Azure. Okay. Also like different services from Azure. Uh, big companies they are using mostly Azure. That I have noticed or that I, that is like what I have been informed at, at this point of time. Okay. Also as compared to Azure in my experience. Sorry as compared to AWS in my experience. Azure is much simple and easy to understand. First of all very clear. Okay. Because at this point, like as I say, ki, the DevOps tools that uh, AWS provide, they are not as much as good as the ones that is provided by Azure. Okay. Basically, what happens? I will tell you. Uh, there is like in Azure two two things are there: Azure Cloud and Azure DevOps. Okay. So Azure Cloud is the place where you will create different services of Azure. Okay. Like uh, VM, then Azure Function, AKS, ACR, then Databricks, Data Factory. So many things are there. Okay. And the Azure DevOps platform, which is also from Azure. So that is the platform which is integrated with so many different tools okay, which can be used for building a deployment of application. Basically like you can use that Azure DevOps platform for CI and CD. Okay. And in my opinion, trust me, it is the most user friendly interface. Okay. Most user friendly interface plus very easy to use as compared to AWS because I have used both of them as compared to AWS Azure, the DevOps platform in Azure. It, it is much easier user friendly and very simple to use okay it's like almost every single thing will be available to you in template form okay so for example like if you have already used jenkins then uh, you will be like very comfortable with that jenkins or any other cicd tool then you will be very comfortable with azure devops platform okay we'll be covering a proper thing uh, in future when because i'm going to start a new series on azure devops which will be 30 days and we will cover most of the that okay also as compared to aws actually azure has less services as i told because like aws captures maximum market share and it has it, it's been in the market from quite some time okay so like azure has a number of services lesser than the aws but as i said big companies they prefer using uh, microsoft because i like uh, uh, most of the like the companies specifically the companies who, who are going to use dotnet based project or windows based services or microsoft based services they go with azure okay that is much better and in my opinion also like my primary cloud platform which i use is azure okay okay but also like it's not the complete answer from uh, from my uh, my side but i will let you know in few seconds okay okay so azure in my opinion if you are a fresher or experienced if you want to learn cloud uh, if you want to like focus on becoming cloud devops engineer azure is the best place for you okay okay now coming to third cloud platform which is gcp so third is like gcp first is aws market share then second is azure then we have gcp okay but as compared to like uh, i do not consider gcp that much as compared to them because like uh, as i told first market share uh, aws second market share azure and third is gcp okay so obviously if you have the first and second market share who are uh, occupying most obviously you should choose between to, between them okay why because eventually you are going to take a job and you want the skill sets that is high in demand in market right so if you are learning some certain cloud platform that is not being used in different companies then there is no point in learning right so you should either focus on aws or azure okay in my opinion, if you are a fresher or experienced, if you want to get started with cloud DevOps part, building and deploying application, CI, CD, testing and all those things, in my opinion, Azure is the best way, okay? Now coming to like, uh, what are my primary uh, cloud platform which I use and what are the main services which I focus on on learning, okay? So I will tell you, at this point, primary platform which I work with in my office or like uh, personally also I choose to work is like Azure DevOps. 
much simpler very easy everything is available in template form it reduces your manual effort to a very like very very little bit of manual effort will be needed for like building and deploying application or performing any kind of devops uh, uh, actions okay also like it's not that though and the services that mostly i work with in uh, uh, azure are like first of all azure devops uh, platform which is already integrated with uh, azure artifacts azure pipelines then azure repo those things already like i'm working with main services or main resources in from azure cloud which i have good experience working with are like aks azure container registry okay and acr sorry aks is azure kubernetes service and acr is azure container registry okay so kubernetes cluster is like uh, as you microsoft will create a cluster for you which is much easier to maintain because they are the ones who are like monitoring it and taking care of it you just need to deploy applications okay so much easier then we have acr azure container registry which is similar to docker hub for pushing docker images but it is managed by azure side and it, it, it is quite secure and it is very easy to use i have seen okay then other services which i have experience on like uh, creating uh, uh, azure vms then azure function azure logic apps and then there are certain services which i do not work 100% but i know how to deploy uh, files to them for example i know how to deploy files to uh, databricks azure databricks i know how to deploy to azure data factory i know how to deploy to azure analysis services i know how to deploy to azure databases these things i know because i have worked with them so these if someone says ki write a file for azure databricks that i cannot do but if someone shares me a file i can deploy it. okay so these are some of the most important or like most common services that i work with also app service azure app service who does not have experience with that that also has, has i have experience with secondly this is like primary skill but a uh, secondary i like i am also learning uh, aws as a cloud platform but as a secondary skill okay so few services from uh, aws side also i have started learning for example i recently worked with ecr uh, like elastic container registry then eks elastic kubernetes service okay which is which is like uh, uh, equivalent to aks and acr okay then aws vms i use on regular basis okay and in, in addition to that i have started working with like uh, i recently started working with terraform as i told so i recently created an infrastructure which pro with proper networking system where i got to learn about vpc virtual uh, virtual private cloud then subnets then route table then internet gateway security groups these are these kind of things i started learning okay so like primary skill for me it's like azure devops and azure cloud but for as a secondary cloud platform which i am interested in and i have started learning is aws okay this between these two you can choose any one of them in my opinion if you ask me my opinion Azure is the best thing to get started for the first time. Okay, yeah. So that will be all for today's video, and I hope this video uh, do some clearance for you for understanding which cloud platform you should get started with. And yeah, and my suggestion, uh, one more thing that uh, always always focus on cloud DevOps because in future cloud DevOps is the is going to be uh, like the main thing. Okay, this normal DevOps that we already have. this will exist but after 10 15 years i don't think they will exist because at this point in my opinion some of my friends who are in different companies they tell me that everywhere they are migrating projects to cloud why because it reduces more than half of the effort like building and maintaining your applications deploy keeping them on cloud it reduces half of the effort and that is really helpful okay so my, my suggestion if you are learning devops uh, like learn normal devops fine but focus on cloud devops and gaining more experience in cloud devops that will help you a lot and get you lots of opportunities okay for me also like for almost 3 uh, uh, years i 3 and 1/2 years i all uh, worked with both of them cloud devops as well as normal devops but at this point primarily i work with cloud devops because i am even like uh, going further in that direction only so my suggestion because eventually if you see the market reality i'm telling you everyone is slowly slowly migrating their projects to cloud because obviously like if your effort is getting reduced then you want to work with the resources on cloud because you don't need to maintain them the cloud provider they will maintain the services for example like if you are building and deploying application inside kubernetes okay and let's say you have set up your own kubernetes cluster on your on a specific vm so now like if an issue comes with kubernetes cluster since it is a open source you need to fix it right but and it will it might take lot of time okay 
But in case you are working with a cloud platform, be it AWS or Azure, so in AWS we have a Kubernetes equivalent as EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and in Azure we have uh, like Azure Kubernetes Service. Okay. So the benefit there for Kubernetes Service is that the whole cluster will be set up by Microsoft itself. You just need to provide the details like how many worker node you want, how many master node you want. So those details you will give rest, they will create the cluster and they make sure that there is no downtime with respect to cluster. Cluster will stay up all the time. Okay. So that is the reason like most people or uh, most companies are focusing on migrating their projects to cloud. So suggestion, uh, if you are a fresher or experienced, you want to get started with cloud DevOps, start with Azure for sure. But make sure to like uh, at least uh, uh, gain little bit of information about some of the services from AWS also because that's what I did so that like if time comes at some point in uh, in future that I need to work with AWS so already having little bit of experience then it will be much easier for me to start working with AWS okay so my opinion will be that and this is my like skill sets uh, like as per the cloud DevOps okay yeah so thanks for watching and have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new also I'm available on Instagram as well as Telegram so if you are any having any like queries issues or if you need guidance you just you can just ping me there i'm available okay so yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day